All right, welcome back. We're live at Nike Center Court for Hoop Fest 2010. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Ben Kaplan. And Derek, like the years past, there are plenty of former college stars playing in the elite division this year. Yeah, and once again, Brewster native and former Zag David Pendergraf has teamed up with Ferris Grad and former University of Denver star Eric Benzel on Team Tonics, along with Mitch Holda and Daniel Haynes. They won their first game this morning 20 to 3, and they won this game as well. Last year was their first time playing together, and they won out and won the whole thing right here at Center Court. This year, they decided to actually practice together a few times because they knew that as defending champions, other teams would be gunning to knock them off. Definitely have a target on our back, but now you just got to play harder and defend. I mean, Hoop Fest, just like anything else, you got to catch your breaks and you got to play hard every game. Those tough teams. Absolutely. I mean, this tournament's hard enough as it is, you know, but when you got the bullseye on your chest, it's, it's definitely tougher, but, uh, you know, we love it and we'll rise to the challenge. Some of Pendo's former teammates at Gonzaga taking their turn signing autographs at the Comcast Battle in Seattle booth right by the fountain downtown. A couple of fan favorites, Stephen Gray and Robert Sacre, were there this morning hamming it up and meeting many of their admirers. Sacre said signing autographs feels a whole lot better than losing to Syracuse <laughs> in the big dance, meaning the two roommates were having a great time with the fans. To be out here with you know all these people at the you know, biggest three-on-three -three tournament. It's one of the, you know, just greatest things to do. Come out, hang out with the, with the kids and the, the families. It's, it's a blast. I've never been inside Hoop Fest. I never played with Hoop Fest, but uh, you know what? I've been, I, I've been always around the weekend and having a good time with all the people. Every, it just brings a great environment to Spokane. And Derek, one of the really cool things about Hoop Fest is walking around, you see players of all ages and skill levels taking part, and that includes disabled athletes as well. Team St. Luke's from right here in Spokane is one of the best wheelchair teams in the country. A couple of local high schoolers who play on that team are playing on a couple of teams at Hoop Fest, the Mavs and Movin' Mavs. North Central grad Mariah Alexander and Ferris grad Austin Pierce both played Hoop Fest before leg amputations and are thankful for the fact they can still play even after. There's not a lot of stuff around here for like people in wheelchairs to go through, so I mean, this is awesome. It's cool that Spokane incorporates us and makes it in like an easy court to play on. There's not a lot of holes or bumps in the road on the court, and it's great to get to be able to play and just compete like I always used to. 